Hey everyone, how are you doing? I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's Thursday. But what a week. Oh my gosh. Sorry. The other day I was um, eating some mush crushed avocados and the salt container I have, you can't really see the salt come out, so I put it in my hand and I do with my fingers like this, you know, kind of put it on there as usual and the pepper in those little containers so I did it and I tasted it um, Polly does his own I do mine so I was doing mine and I did it and then I took a spoon of it and I took another spoon and within seconds my lips started burning and tingling and I'm like what the heck I've ate this millions of times not millions many times before nothing happened and right away I thought I must be allergic to it so right away I, I dumped it out. There wasn't a lot. I gave Polly most of the avocado. I just threw it out. I took some water and rinsed out my mouth. Uh, took a paper towel, soaked it in water, and touched it at different parts on my lips and kept doing that, thinking, you know, I must become allergic to it or they added something different or whatever. So finally, after a lot of dousing my lips in cold water and trying not to swallow, um, not to eat anything for a while, it finally stopped. And it took a few days till I realized I had just bring it in, br bring it in, brought in an uh, Instacart order, and I always use gloves when I bring it in. And there's, those gloves are my original gloves I've used from the beginning when all this, you know, started. But I always wash my hands after I take the gloves off. I'm very, very cautious. And I didn't because I thought, really, you know, what's the reason to wash your hands off when you got gloves on? So that's what it was. I must have been allergic to the gloves, not as putting them on and using them, but taking the gloves off and touching the salt and pepper and sprinkling it on there. I was allergic if it would touch my mouth. My gosh, thank God it didn't turn into something worse. It could have been. So God is good. So that's my one of my two miracles for this week. The second one was I was waiting for a telemedicine call with one of um, my son's specialists. <clears throat> it was a very important call. I'd been waiting for almost a year for this call. First time he tried calling, we were in the hospital. Um, and he, could, he would know that by looking at the chart thing, but he didn't. So anyhow, I went to lay down and... Um, because I haven't slept in two weeks. I went to lay down. I thought I had the portable air conditioner thing fixed. It was flowing good. I laid down. I must have actually fell asleep. Luckily, my son came to the door and knocked. Mom, are you okay? I was not okay. The air conditioner that I thought I had fixed to work was not working. The room was so hot. And as you know, if you've seen my video on anhydrosis, I have that, which means my body doesn't sweat. Besides that, I have a worst case scenario of it where my body is always burning hot and then I get the chills usually in the evening and night, but it's still burning. So I have a burning hot body, not that way, but I don't know, maybe, no, just kidding. Anyhow, and I don't sweat. So thank God he got me out of there, but he got me out of there so I should have jumped in a cold shower. Well, not jump, but I would have had to sit on the floor. There was no jumping going around. And I was literally, that was it. I thought, this is it. The, the avocados didn't get me, now this did. So I had to go in the kitchen, wait for the doctor's call. So I'm taking washcloths with cold water, putting it on me. I have one thing left. It's a migraine thing you put on, you put it in the freezer, take it out. Well, I've had it for about two, three years. It's leaking. You can't fix it with any kind of tape because it leaks through. So I'm using this. The stuff's leaking out. God knows what's in there, leaking all over me. Put a washcloth on my head have to balance with that not getting the chills because if you get overheated and you get the chills that means you have heat stroke waiting for this doctor with bated breath he's a very very specialist and wait and wait and wait and I was like an hour early you know half an hour early time came it went it went it went two and a half hours later no call I could have been under a shower cooled down I was still burning up we have the other air in here that I got to work um, so this is the only place, so I decided we have to sleep on the kitchen table because this is the only place that's somewhat cool. Maybe not today. I think with the heat index today, it's going to be like 99. I don't know. I don't want to know. But anyhow, uh, 
I'll tell you a little story about the doctor later, but it was horrible. I waited, I waited for nothing. I could have gone in the shower, I could have put my feet in ice cold water, I could have taken care of myself, but I always put my son first. I mean, I was taking care of myself as much as I could with the phone. And it's an older phone, so it's not like I could put it on the edge of the sink in the bathroom because if it fell down, it would be curtains for that. And as we see, my bad luck, everything seems to break down, so i got to be cautious with what I do. I mean, probably you can go and put your phone on the sink counter there and nothing would happen, but with me, it would. So anyhow, was I a little bit angry? Yeah, I was, because I waited. You know, if you're five minutes late for a doctor's appointment, they're like, goodbye, you have to make another appointment, and they charge you. But if they don't call you, no problem. Ah, so... A miracle. I made it through the night. I haven't slept. I'm not going in my bedroom until it's 60 degrees or less. That is a death trap. Obviously, the air thing was not... I didn't fix it. Well, I'm not an air conditioner fixer. What happens is you got to vent it through your window, and I'm going to try not to talk about the person that broke the vent thing, probably, because uh, when I looked at it, that's what it was. So I tried to jimmy rig it up like he did way back when. He was able to jimmy rig it because that was the first time it was jimmy rigged. I don't know if that's the right word. That's what he uses. Anyhow, to do a half butt job, as he always does. So I thought I could just tape over it, but it didn't work. I did try to put Gorilla Tape on today. No, yeah, today. Today I'm feeling a little bit more human. I literally could not even go to the bathroom. I could not walk. I was so hot. Probably on the brink of heat stroke, but... I felt bad because I couldn't hide it from my son and he saw what was going on, but he was so helpful helping me with everything. But I felt awful because, you know, I don't want him to do more than he has to. I don't want him to exert heat. Luckily, he can tolerate drinking Gatorade and he kept saying, Mom, just drink it. I know you don't like it. It gives me a sore throat. I don't know why. Um, but I tried. There was one we had in the fridge and for some reason I was able to drink a little of it. But with my GERD and my son's GERD, you can't drink, and for anyone who has GERD, don't drink cold drinks fast or don't chew gum, it makes GERD worse, or don't have peppermint. Well, you can, but it's just going to make your GERD worse. So I got some, got some GERD down, no, got some Gatorade down, was able to cool myself, and now I'm feeling a little human. I have to be very careful today. I'm just staying in this kitchen and keeping hot on me. I'm going to have to take a motion. I have such a heat headache. Motrin makes me so sick to my stomach. I'm going to have to take that and Tylenol all day today to try to get rid of this heat headache and hope I make it through this day because it's going to be bad and only worse. It's only the beginning of July. I don't know what's going to happen. Of course, of course I saw our son, my son, he's our son, texts his dad because we were running low on water and Gatorade. We have to drink bottled water. Long story, no time for it now. He didn't even answer. He hasn't answered us in a while, so does that mean he's out of town having fun? I don't know. I don't care. But it, it hurts me that my son tries to reach out to his father because he knew he needed more Gatorade and he needed lunch meat and he knew I was no no condition. Plus, uh, the pay wasn't in because I guess it was a holiday, so I didn't have any money. My son didn't know that. He just thought I was too sick to you know do the Insta thing. And I had to wait for the doctor call, so anyhow... I'm not going to talk about that. I don't need that stress. But anyhow, that was that. Praise the Lord. God is good. He helped me through this. And that was my week. And only two, two day, well, more, you know, the, I don't know what I want to say. When I get this hot, I can't think. But anyhow, I hope you had a better day than I. This is not an upbeat video, but it is life. This is our life. And that's what it is. So if you're having a bad day, maybe listening to this will make you think, hey, it could have been worse. I don't know. I'm just telling you about our day. It always can't be peachy. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. Be kind to people. Pay it forward if you can. Be the reason someone smiles today. Please share our channel. We're trying to grow it. We'd like you to join our family. If you're not subscribed and you're just watching because I can tell by the algorithm, subscribe. It costs you nothing. Just subscribe. Play my videos. Walk away. I don't care. Just please help us grow our channel. <laughs> no, you don't have to, but it would be nice. It would make us both happy. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching. If you know anyone who is anhydrosis, please send them over my way. Maybe they can help me on, on ideas on what to do. 
I hope not, none of you ever get this awful thing because it is terrible. So for now, bye.